Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So for a while, you guys have been asking me to do the feather string pull. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. And the first thing we're going to do is cover our canvas with a solid color. It doesn't have to be any particular color. In this case, I'm going to use white. And then just for fun, I think I'm going to throw a little bit of this kind of turquoisey color in there. Why not? That'll just be something a little different than just a solid white. I'm just going to get this all spread around our canvas. And we don't want too much paint sitting on the canvas, so I'm going to um, go ahead and run some of this in various directions, which will help um, get the canvas covered and get a nice semi-even layer of paint. Floetrol is self-leveling, so I'm not like super worried about it or anything. There's no silicone in any of these colors that I'm using today. Only Floetrol and paint and water. You can definitely use silicone if you want to, like if you're going for cells. Okay. I think that's good. And there we go, now it's like a little more unique, you know, not just a solid white background. Okay, and then the next thing you're gonna do is just take a string. There's a wide variety of things you can use. I'm using just a cotton string I got, got, got at the uh, whoop, dollar store. And I put a line of paint over here. As you can see, there's various colors. I use black, blue, and that turquoisey color as well. So that once again, then just have a kind of boring solid color, but solid colors can look really pretty too. Just trying to spice it up a little. So I'm going to get this totally saturated in paint. Okay. And then we very carefully put it down wherever you want. Go ahead and go at an angle here. And then you're gonna just slowly pull down. Now the closer that you pull to your string in the middle, the smaller the feather will be. If you pull it out further, you'll just have a bigger feather, which is fine too. And maybe I'll show you how both of those look. Let's see. Let's get the other side. So we're going to just dip it right in the same spot we did. And then the goal is to also put the string down in the same spot. And then you're going to go in the other direction. There we go. As you can see on this side, I actually went out a little further, I think, than I did on the first side. And that's really basically it. Um, the other thing you can do at that point is, um, if you want, you can just take maybe some black or something and kind of just go through the middle there just to make a solid middle line. But you definitely don't have to. All right, let's do one where we make a bit of a wider feather. And I'll just do this next to this over here. So what I'll do is I'll pull out farther. And there we go, we've made a wider feather. And as you can see also, I probably left a little too much paint on the canvas. So I definitely advise just having a very thin layer. As with any string pull, if you've got too much paint on there, it'll kind of end up sinking back in. So there we go. We made a nice big one. <laughs> I like it. And if you wanted to, you can also go back, I'm sure, over your same line. Let's see if we can go back on the other side here and see how that would look. So I'm going to put it back in the middle. And then I'm going to just go over this again. There we go. Yeah, see? That works out too. So you can't really mess it up too easily and then 
lastly, if you want to also, you can definitely do other things like go in here with a stick and kind of maybe fluff up some of these feathers so they're not quite so perfect. Oh, I didn't go through the middle of this one. You know what I mean? Get creative with it. There's really, there's no rules. You can fluff it up if you want or just leave it. Either way, it looks really cool. And then, of course, you can add all kinds of other things to it. So that is it for today's demonstration on the feather pull. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely give it a try. Have fun with it. You know, try out different colors. You can do rainbow colors. You can do a solid color. You can do a solid background. You can do a rainbow background. Whatever you want, you know. Try out different things. You can incorporate it into your other techniques. But it's a pretty fun and simple technique. All right, and I will see y'all next time.